The ocean, a realm of breathtaking beauty, a world of endless mystery. For millennia, its depths have held secrets, but sometimes the ocean reveals its power in shocking ways. Suddenly, without warning, a part of Florida's ocean floor has vanished. It has simply collapsed, an immense void has opened in the seabed. This is an event of profound significance. The earth has shifted beneath the waves. Imagine the scene. Vast plains of sand and ancient rock. Coral gardens teeming with life. Then, a colossal failure. The very foundation gives way. Tons of sediment, rock, and life plunge into an unknown abyss. This is not a gentle slope. It is a catastrophic collapse. A wound torn open in the planet's skin. The scale is difficult to comprehend. It challenges our understanding of the ocean's stability. This sudden transformation is terrifying. It speaks of forces we do not fully control. The ocean floor, often considered a static, unchanging landscape, is alive. It is dynamic. And sometimes, it is incredibly fragile. The collapse off Florida's coast is a stark reminder. A wake-up call from the deep. We must now try to understand why. The news broke only recently. In the quiet days of mid-May 2025, initial reports were fragmented, strange readings from underwater sensors, unexplained disturbances picked up by sonar arrays. Something was amiss off the Floridan coast, an area known for its rich marine biodiversity, a popular spot for fishing and diving. Now, it is the site of an unprecedented geological event. The collapse occurred approximately 70 miles east of St. Augustine, a region where the continental shelf begins its slow descent into deeper waters. The exact moment is still being pieced together, but evidence suggests a rapid cascading failure. Perhaps over several hours or even minutes, research vessels were dispatched urgently. Their instruments painted a shocking picture. Where there was once a familiar underwater landscape, there was now a vast depression a crater of immense proportions. Early estimates suggest an area several square miles has been affected. The depth of the collapse is staggering. Hundreds of feet of material have simply disappeared. This is a scar on the earth, visible only from beneath the waves. The location is significant. The questions are many, the answers few. The scientific community is in a state of profound shock. Marine geologists, biologists, oceanographers, they are all struggling. Struggling to comprehend the scale and implications of this collapse. It is one thing to study ancient submarine landslides. It is another to witness one unfold in real time, or at least to see its immediate raw aftermath. The word terrified is not an exaggeration. It reflects a deep unease about what this means for the ocean's future and for our understanding of planetary processes. The primary fear centers on the marine ecosystems. Countless organisms would have been instantly buried or thrown into the water column. Entire habitats, unique coral formations, sponge gardens, and communities of deep sea creatures wiped out. These are not just isolated losses. The interconnectedness of marine life means the impact will spread. Food webs will be disrupted. Breeding grounds may be permanently lost. Species that relied on that specific patch of seabed now face an uncertain future. Some may never recover in this location. This is a sudden, brutal extinction event on a local scale. Beyond the immediate destruction, there is the fear of the unknown. The ocean's balance is incredibly intricate. The collapse of the ocean floor is not merely an underwater phenomenon. Its repercussions will inevitably reach human shores. Florida's coastal communities are intrinsically linked to the sea. Their economies, their cultures, their very way of life depend on a healthy ocean. This event, though miles offshore, sends a shiver of apprehension through these communities. The immediate concern is for fisheries. The affected area was a known habitat for valuable species, snapper, grouper, and others that support local fishing fleets. Their disappearance will be felt directly. Livelihoods are now at risk. Fishermen who have worked these waters for generations face uncertainty. Will the fish populations recover? Will they move to new areas? Or are these stocks now permanently diminished? The economic impact could be significant. 
not just for the fishermen themselves, but for related industries, seafood restaurants, markets, tourism operators who rely on recreational fishing, all could suffer. The ocean is a generous provider, but when its systems are disrupted, the consequences can be severe and far-reaching for us all. Beyond the direct economic hits, there are other worries. This is a new reality. Dr. Eris Thorne, a leading marine geologist, expressed his deep concern. We are looking at a catastrophic failure of the substrate, he stated. It's like a piece of the continent just fell away. But to have it happen now, so suddenly, is alarming. It forces us to reconsider the stability of continental margins worldwide. They paint a picture of an Earth more dynamic, more volatile than we often appreciate. Professor Lena Hansen, a marine biologist, shared her distress. The loss of life is incalculable, she lamented. They are oases of biodiversity in the deep sea. Now, they are gone. The unique communities they supported are lost. A stark reminder of how vulnerable these hidden ecosystems truly are. Oceanographer Dr. Kenji Tanaka focused on the broader implications. It's about the interconnectedness of the ocean system. His perspective highlights the far-reaching consequences. The urgent question on every scientist's mind is, why? What could cause such a monumental collapse of the ocean floor? Florida's geology offers some clues. The state sits atop a thick platform of carbonate rock, primarily limestone. This type of rock is susceptible to dissolution by water. Over eons, this can create vast underground networks of caves and sinkholes. This is known as karst topography. While common on land in Florida, the idea of a massive offshore karst collapse is a leading theory. A giant hidden sinkhole beneath the waves. Another possibility involves methane hydrates. These are ice-like structures of methane gas trapped in water molecules. They are stable under high pressure and low temperatures, conditions found in deep ocean sediments. If these hydrates become destabilized, perhaps by warming waters or seismic tremors, the methane gas can escape. This would reduce the structural integrity of the sediments above, leading to slumping or even catastrophic collapse. The investigation will be complex. The collapse of Florida's ocean floor is a profound event. It is a stark message from the deep. Scientists will deploy every tool at their disposal. Remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, will explore the new abyss. They will sample its exposed strata. They will search for signs of surviving or new life. This is a natural laboratory, born of disaster. We need enhanced monitoring of vulnerable coastal regions, not just in Florida, but globally. We must invest in science to anticipate hazards. The ocean demands our respect and vigilance.